Good morning. We are looking at the very pretty house, 20 Mullins Terrace. This is the house that, I was gonna say that I've told people, but no, that won't make sense. That everyone tells me the photographs don't do it justice. And when they come in here, they appreciate why I do say to them when they're looking for other properties, you must come and see this one. Look, from a development point, point of view, there are things I would change and I can point them out. For instance, looking at the front there, I would either extend the wall with the doors and the windows in forward, so there is no patio and you have a bigger living room, or I would bifold or put glass sliding doors all along in the front. Um, but again, that's me, right? These are the things I see. Again, development ahead, I suppose. So, house has been available for a while. Um, and it's gone through various phases of being available, not being available, being available, not being available. So at the moment, it is available. Very pretty home. It's almost like a standard page in a home that's been modernised by an English lady who has put her Englishism on it. Oh, clearly standing in the kitchen, stating the bloody obvious, this lovely black and white finish. That sort of French type cuisine type lights there. I don't know why cuisine makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. Somehow it does. We've been waiting for weeks to do this walkthrough video, and I do mean weeks. The weather's been so unkind in terms of our timing. Um, the living room here, this is the door and the two windows that I'd mentioned earlier. Really lovely living room. But I think those doors are wasted because I don't think they're ever used. Anyway, we move on. A little um, atrium slash office. Just have a peek outside. We're gonna come back here after. I'm not going to go too far out there because I do believe the owner's around so we don't want to be disturbing them. So that gives you a little glimpse of the outside and this wonderful covered terrace there. So come back round and let's keep looking. Everything in, in here is in very good order. The reason it's in very good order, above all else, because they live here permanently. So like anyone, you live in a house permanently as long as you are not budget deficient posh way of saying broke. My, my, my camera's doing some strange things, so forgive me. Um, right, the living room from the other angle, stating the bloody obvious. Let's look at bedroom number three first. Funny enough, bedroom number three is actually possibly my favorite. Uh, no air conditioning in this house, and the reason for that is it's always cool. The house is always cool. Probably the way it's located, the fact you're in Mullins, so the wind blows nicely, there's not too many buildings behind, and you're in a narrower part of the island. So the east coast is actually closer than you'd actually think. Anyway, you've got an east-facing window there, and a north-facing window there. Sounds like I've run out of things to say, doesn't it? And let us look around. So, good-sized room, as you see, nice built-in storage there. If you don't like that style, obviously you can change it up. You could do as you please. There's a corridor. From the look of that, I'm going to lose the Battle of the Mirrors, but we shall see. Be nice if I won one. I think I'm like about five nil down. Okay, this is the smallest of the three rooms, three bedrooms. There is a fourth room, which is more of a TV nook. I think it could be a bedroom, uh, especially if you do a little bit of developmental uh, changes. Now, we'll look at that now. This is, if you like, the fourth room, the office. Absolutely gorgeous. They've got a foot on there, so... Sorry about that. So they've got a foot on there, so that's perfect. Um, the gimbal has just packed up on me. I'm not sure why, so I'm going freehand. No problem. Won't be the first time. Uh, the width of it might bother some people, but that's why I say you could push the wall out maybe three, four feet without affecting the exterior and uh, if you did that oops sorry again and if you did that um, you'd have an absolute full-size room the owner doesn't really appreciate me talking about it as if it's a four bedroom but it really could be in my humble opinion um, a more Caribbean style um, shower where the wall there doesn't go all the way up to the top I love that um, in old Caribbean homes the walls of the bedrooms were like that too, to allow the free flow of air, which made a lot of sense, of course. This time of year is so humid. I've got to tell you, I'm so hot today. Um, this one's got a bidet and a toilet. 
and we go through so that that toilet actually services the two bedrooms and if i suppose the argument would be in the office area there as well that i just mentioned this master bedroom is en suite that's a king size bed takes up doesn't really take up much room plenty of room around the room it gives you an idea of the actual size of the room really nicely finished as you see again no air conditioning and again this room is very cool now if I was going to make changes, I would put a pool on the outside of that window and uh, I would have the window change to doors and then you could go from your master bedroom straight into a pool. But I will point that out when I go round the back. I'm not going to go all the way round the garden because I would be stumbling, trying to put shoes on and the such like. But there are photographs of the other side. The other side, i.e. the side that I won't be covering. Very pretty bathroom. Very, very pretty bathroom. There's you got again shower, bidet and toilet in here. Again, very nicely finished. Everything is well maintained. I always look for that in videos just so you guys can get a proper feel for it. So, walking back through, I mean, I actually, I'm laughing right now in myself because six weeks probably we've been waiting to do this video. And the gimbal's packed up on me, remarkable. So going outside and having a look outside, again, this is the office. So just so you get the flow of the place, you've got the office here. The kitchen empties out onto the office. I call it an office, doesn't have to be an office. Make a lovely TV nook, make a lovely family room. And I'll just stick my head out here. Owners have run into cover, quite right. <laughs> Down that corner is where I suggested you could put in the pool. So you'll see that in the photographs. And there you go. Lovely landscaping has all been taking over the last few months, better and better. So lovely blue sky looking out to sea and behind me is grey, grey clouds. So yet again, we haven't quite done it. But 20 Mullins Terrace, as I turn slowly and run you into the wall. Sorry for that, folks. 20 Mullins Terrace. Definitely, definitely worth a look. Give me a shout on this, guys. This is a really, really lovely property at a wonderful value. <laughs>